why good enough parenting is actually great parenting and supports your mental health too. Whether we realize it or not, we all bring our own expectations, dreams or hopes to parenthood. These might come from our family, our cultural background or popular ideas about what it means to be a good parent. We will often have expectations about how our lives will look and it's natural to imagine how we will feel as a new parent or after bringing another child into our family. We might have expectations or hopes about different parts of becoming a parent, like the birth, or how we will feed or settle our baby or manage our daily lives. But for many of us, new parenthood can be quite different from what we imagined. Most new parents don't feel happy all the time. All of us experience hard days and nights and some difficult moments. Becoming a new parent is one of the biggest life changes many of us will go through. Many parents worry about getting it right. We want to do what's best for our baby. And there's so much advice about what that means. Sometimes the pressures on parents and perhaps our own expectations on ourselves can get quite overwhelming. But there's something we want to tell you about getting parenting right. And that's the very powerful and helpful idea of good enough parenting. This idea comes from British paediatrician and psychoanalyst Donald Winnicott. He worked with thousands of mums and babies in the 1950s, researching what was needed in order to raise healthy, happy children. Winnicott realised that parents don't need to be constantly attentive to their baby. His research showed that parents who can give sensitive care to their baby just 30% of the time were able to raise healthy, resilient children. In fact, Winnicott found that even if we could be completely attuned to our baby's every need at every moment, this would not support their healthy development. Emotional development includes children learning to tolerate some distress within a safe, caring environment. For example, when our baby cries because they're tired or hungry, good enough parenting would be noticing our child's distress trying to figure out what's happening for them and giving gentle, practical care if needed. It's very normal for babies to stay upset for a while, no matter what we do. Over time, they will learn to tolerate this and to settle with our support. These experiences help our children to develop the resilience they need to live in the imperfect real world. Since Winnicott's time, neuroscience findings have supported these ideas and provided much needed relief and reassurance for parents. And so you see, good enough parenting is not at all about compromising your baby's well-being. Good enough parenting is actually great parenting. And it means that as a new parent, you also have time for yourself. To finish your sandwich, to drink your tea when it's hot, to take a shower, to do what you need for your own well-being, and that helps your baby too. Like we said, everyone has hard days and difficult moments. But if yours get overwhelming, please reach out for support. Panda can help. <laughs>